Hey guys, my name is Srini and let me explain why I created this channel. Programming is very important for researchers, no matter what field you are from. Uh, it's, it's important for life scientists, material scientists, geoscientists, uh, you know, uh, even for humanities. Uh, because data is everywhere. Data can be in the form of images, it can be in the form of analytical data, it can even be in the form of text if you are from humanities and if you would like to analyze text, that is your form of data. And programming actually helps you clean up this data and extract information from this data. That's why it's extremely important for you to learn programming no matter what field you come from. Uh, you can actually use point and click software for your analysis. For example, if you're into image analysis, you can use uh, software like ImageJ, which is an uh, open source. Uh, this is a great piece of software actually for image manipulation and also for uh, certain tasks like segmentation and uh, so on. So nothing wrong with that. Let's say you open your image and you uh, figure out a way to extract information from your image. Maybe you figured out a way to segment a very difficult image. You uh, perform a series of tasks. Great. Uh, what if you would like to repeat that a month from now? What if you would like to repeat that for 100 images or 1,000 images? Today, we can collect 1,000 images in a matter of an hour. How do you plan on analyzing these images? Programming makes it easy to automate these type of tasks. So you don't have to sit down and do these things manually. Also with programming, by automating these tasks, you are actually collecting repeatable information from your images. So no matter who works on your images using your code, no matter how and no matter actually when you analyze your images, you tend to get statistically similar results if you automate the task rather than performing a manual task. Now, in addition, from a career point of view, you'll eventually realize that you would have to develop this skill of programming. No matter what job you end up doing, you will be working with data that needs cleaning up, data where you need to extract information. So it's very important also from a career point of view for you to learn, and you may say, uh, programming is hard, it's not your cup of tea, well, you, too bad. If uh, uh, you're a life scientist, how many other life scientists are out there with similar skill set as yours? If you apply for a job or if you want to grow within your company, why should you be given a chance and not someone with added skill of programming or some other type of skill? So therefore, if you are actually in the field of data analysis or image processing, you better learn how to program and this is exactly the reason why I'm doing these tutorials online. Ideally, universities or institutes would include programming as part of your curriculum, but that's not happening, especially if you're from life sciences, if you're from humanities, if you're from agricultural sciences. You're taught a lot about uh, cell division, you know, understanding tissues and all of that, which is obviously very important. but What's also important is learning how to extract information from these uh, data, from the images that you're collecting. And I hope these tutorials are going to give you enough knowledge uh, to get started so you can actually learn uh, how to program by yourself. And if you're already a programmer, if you know something about programming, uh, let's say you're a mid-level programmer, then I believe this channel is not going to give you too much information, so please don't waste your time. Find other videos that are much better than mine on YouTube and, and grow your knowledge. But these set of videos that I'm going to do as part of this uh, channel are intended for beginners, uh, so they get started with uh, programming, so they're not intimidated by programming anymore, and uh, hopefully they'll continue this and eventually it becomes a passion, so, uh, so you, you stay ahead you know, in, in your professional career. So buckle up and uh, let's start to learn some programming.